your Storm Tracker team forecast with Chief Meteorologist Sam Parrish. Well, friends, after a very warm weekend, it is continuing to roll into the early part of this week with temperatures above 90 once again this afternoon. Right now, we can look outside and you see a little bit of a haze out there on our SkyCam network. It's currently 88 degrees at the airport. Calm wind, though, but look at the dew point. It's up there at 70, so it makes it feel very muggy. And as a result, we do have a heat index of 93 with 55% on the humidity. We do have a few scattered showers on radar, but they're in southwestern Mississippi. Not a whole lot going on. All of the activity right now is up in Northwestern and Western Oklahoma where multiple tornado warnings are in effect for those areas. Thank goodness we don't have anything like that in our area. We do have some pollen to deal with though. 6.7 for tomorrow, 7.9 on Wednesday and 6.8 on Thursday. Most of that being oak, grass and mulberry pollen. Let's take a look at the radar right now. You can see nothing really going on in our area, but look at this big tornado watch in Western Oklahoma, a PDS tornado watch. That's a kind of a special tornado watch where they're expecting large and destructive tornadoes from Wichita down to Oklahoma City this evening. Evening, so those poor folks really are under the gun. Here in our area, we're going to say hot and humid with the cold front up to the north and west staying put. Maybe some scattered showers tomorrow across Mississippi, but then that front kind of dies out a little bit. Then we have another system dropping in behind it on Wednesday, causing some thunderstorms from northeast Texas all the way up to Indianapolis. But notice what happens as we go in time. That activity stays to the north. We're not really going to be involved in that system as well. We're going to have to wait a little bit longer before this front starts to move closer to us, and that will be Thursday night into Friday morning. And when it does, that's when we're going to see the chances of showers and thunderstorms increasing across the area. But the good news is behind this front, as we go into the weekend, cooler and drier air moves in. So at least we have that to look forward to. But no drier tonight. It's going to be muggy with temperatures in the 70s tonight for the most part. And then as we go into tomorrow afternoon, hot and humid once again, south to southwest winds, a high of 91. Then as we go into Wednesday morning, lows again in the mid 70s, 74, very muggy. And then in the afternoon, a mixture of clouds and sunshine with a high of 92 in Baton Rouge, maybe 93 for our friends and folks over in Denham Springs. How about the next seven days? Well, we have to deal with the heat wave first. That's tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday. But then the front comes in Thursday night into Friday. That's when the chances of rain really starts to increase. And look at Friday, a high of only 82, and even better on Saturday, cooler, partly cloudy, a high of only 79, cooler on Sunday morning with a low of 58, and pretty pleasant weekend shaping up across the area. All right.